Here we are back at it again with episode 3, Replacements. We just finished watching the new episode of The Bad Batch on Disney+, Plus, and we are now starting to get some answers as to what may be happening in the series. First, we have the story with Omega and the boys. Once again, we see Omega step up to the plate and show everyone that she is ready to be a contributing member of the team. We also get to see the boys, particularly Wrecker, who at the beginning of the episode is willing to take the food directly out of a child's mouth, really come around and make an effort to show her that they care for her. One of the most meaningful aspects are the wholesome connections between these characters. When Uncle Wrecker shows Omega her new home on the ship, these bonds begin to strengthen. It's one of my favorite things in the show to see her learn to understand that just like the rest of the team, she too has the abilities to complete any mission. It is her brave attitude and intuitive nature that saves Hunter's life and sheds light on the beauty of a creature misunderstood for a monster. Knowing that Tarkin enhanced the inhibitor chip in Crosshair and that his modified mind is what is now instilling the values in the adolescent Stormtrooper Corps is sinister and downright tragic. The infiltration scene combining enlisted human soldiers led by elite clone commander strikes fear. The ruthless execution influenced by the enhanced chip causes the new recruits to shudder, frozen in shock just as we the audience. He further instills fear by demonstrating that these heinous actions are what is to be expected, echoing the mantra, good soldiers follow orders. At the end of the episode, to see Crosshair's face in tandem with the constant motif shown that underneath the programming is an individual not consciously or willfully committing these acts evokes feelings of sympathy. For the larger antagonist's plot, we have Tarkin and Admiral Rampart's plans, and like the title of the episode says, the setup to the eventual replacement of the clone trooper army. And finally, we have our neutral party vested in their own interests, the Kaminoans. They believe they need advanced clone DNA to remain essential over the newly conscripted armies to prevent them from going obsolete. This could lead to a possible clone rebellion against the Empire, maybe even leading to a little action with Vader in the 501st stomping them out? This is something that fans have fantasized about seeing play out in canon for years, and leave it to no one else but Dave Filoni himself to make these dreams a reality. That's it for this one guys, thanks so much for tuning in, we'll be back next time for episode 4. Make sure to click like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and may the force be with you.